We're Scott and Ashley, and this is our dog, Tank. We're a British and American couple who have been traveling the world together and soaking in as many adventures as possible. We're currently converting this, an American school bus, into our own unique home on wheels while traveling all over to other unique homes. Our message is simple, to pollinate kindness and spread the message to be kind. In last week's episode, we were getting charged up and installing our solar. It's an electrifying feeling knowing that soon we will have power to live off the grid, but before we can do that, there's a lot more that needs to happen. So join us this week as we continue building our future home and start to build out our bedroom area. Okay guys, so today we are gonna hook up, um, start to work on our plumbing. Um, as you guys know, we kinda ran all our PEX pipes Got all that uh, ready to go. And now we're actually gonna start putting together all our components, like our pump, our filter, um, all those type of things, uh, going into the fresh water tank um, and getting all that set up. And we also got a bunch of um, plumbing insulation uh, to put on the pipes, so we're gonna do that today. Okay, so um, this is what we got. We got our water pump. Um, we went with the Shaw Flow water pump. Um, we also have our um, accumulator. Uh, we got a short flow accumulator. Um, we also have um, this little uh, filter. Um, so this will just catch anything coming from the um, fresh water tank. And then we just bought this guy. Uh, we just picked this up from Home Depot. Um, so this is basically a household uh, water filter unit. Um, just so then that way all our water, wherever we uh, get that water from, uh, we'll have filters. And we're also thinking of even putting filters into our shower heads as well. So, um, but yeah, we don't know. We're just going to basically hook all this up with the PEX and we got all the uh, PEX attachments. And yeah, start to go from there. Start to frame this out because then basically once we have um, all this hooked up and ready to go, we can start to work on our bedroom, um, our bed frame and all that good stuff since this will be underneath the bed. Um, so excited to get this uh, squared away uh, so then we can start to build our bedroom. What's up friends? I am now out here helping with bus work today. Scott is figuring out some of the plumbing thing. I got to help insulate some of these um, pex pipes, pex pipes, but I feel like the bus needs a good tidy again because just look at all this wonderful mess. So I'm gonna do my best. Okay guys, uh, we are about to go ahead and start hooking up all the plumbing components. However, first uh, we're gonna apply with um, the back of where the fresh water tank is. So that's where we're gonna attach all the um, components. And so first we gotta go cut some wood and then we can start assembling. Okay guys, we are going to get to work on making the bed frame. So the next time you see this, well not the next time because you'll probably see the, the build process, but next time you see this, it'll hopefully be a bed. Kind of. <laughs> Ok 
Okay, guys, it's just started raining, so I'm going to give you a quick update. Oh, it's coming down pretty bad right now. Um, hold on, let me go bring the plywood inside. <laughs> Okay, we survived the rain. We managed to bring in the plywood. Um, but I'm gonna show you real quick just what we've done uh, with the water tank and how we framed it out and what we're gonna be doing with it. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've screwed this two by two into the floor. Uh, we've built a little frame around it. So this way, this will secure uh, the actual uh, fresh water tank in place. But then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna run plywood from here all the way to this what used to be our back seat uh, so then all this is covered then the pipes underneath will be covered that way we can use this as uh, as storage uh, underneath the bed and again keeps everything nice and tight no pipes can get knocked or anything like that so yeah that's the plan okay so now we put the plywood down on top of the water tank as you can see we uh, left this part open uh, so then we can get access uh, to all the plumbing and stuff. And then now we're actually going to build our frame all the way around here to come out to here. And then uh, that's where the mattress will go. And then this part, again, this shelf will be level with the mattress. Hey guys, moment of truth, will the bed rise? Most people raise the roof, but we raise the bed. <laughs> we raise the bed, that's where the magic happens. Because <laughs> the roof curves in at the top, it's going to drag on the wall there. Okay, it works, so it's promising. However, because the bush goes like this towards the end, we're afraid that as we're raising this, and we haven't got the shiplap on yet, we, we accounted for the shiplap, but we didn't account for the little curve as it goes up. So we're afraid that it might rub a little. So we're just gonna, gonna just gonna pull it this way a little bit. Better be safe to be sorry, right? Yeah. I'm sweating, so I feel like I'm back in the sauna. <laughs> right? <laughs> for those of you that don't know, we do hot works, which is a hot, what is it, hot infrared sauna? Yeah. And Jamie loves it. Hi, I'm Danica, your virtual instructor for this hot cycle hit session. Ready? Let's, do it. Let's ride. Low tension to start. Alright, they're in. Okay. Let's try again. We should have we should have way more room up top now. Yeah, plenty of room. Oh yeah. Here we go. Look, now we can do this. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Perfect. So Kels, my mom, and I went to Goodwill and grabbed some coffee today and just had like a fun little afternoon together. Came home to pretty much having a bed frame built and our water tank fr being framed out and the plumbing section being framed out. So this is exciting. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yeah, this is how we're going to work out on the bus. Yeah, that's what I said to them. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you like push up things now. It looks amazing. First time on a bed! It looks amazing! <laughs> Alright, we have like two more pieces of wood. Yep. So we are short, unfortunately, but yeah, it's almost done! Woo! <laughs> what a wonderful day! How happy are you? What a wonderful day! <laughs> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay guys, so today we're actually going to be working in this back bed area and we're actually going to be working on the uh, kind of the shelf in 
cabinets uh, that are behind the bed that will go around our outside uh, back window. And so that's what we're gonna get started on. So let's do this. <laughs> Hi guys. So we have the backs for the cabinets. Let's shove them in. Oh, very smart, Scott. All right. Put down the platform. We don't have to balance across the uh, slats. Um, Roby, if you want to sponsor me, I've got to say, I am very, very loyal. Pretty lovely, that. Professionals around here. I'm looking out from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Been filming. This, this They're two in their zone, so sorry if you guys missed anything. <laughs> Kels and I have been editing. We made them a cup of tea, and we come out here and see that the camera that we said to vlog with is facing the wall over here, so. But it looks so good, honestly. I can't believe they've already cut out the piece. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Alright, and it was that easy. Now we have these inset boxes that we just need to crank from behind into the front faceplate. We can spend all day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do it. Okay, so, <laughs> this is problem solving 101 with Scott and Jamie. They're trying to get I could. to this little like, It's like a little game. <laughs> it's like an operation. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna get the angle. Go up. Oh, he's got it. Do it. Do it. Yay! Yay! You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put the tea in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Your favorite music gone all the way, baritone. Shut the lights. Okay, go I had to just run inside to go get a new battery because the camera battery died. But the guys are about to run our very first interior wires, which I'm so excited about. Knowing them, they may have already started because these guys are like no nonsense. Once their mind gets going, they're like, let's go. Have you guys already started? You haven't ran the first wire? We're about to switch the closet to over. This is going to become our closed closet. So this is going to be the electrical closet. Because so right I think now, the, when I, we put the batteries, the like, all the weight, it's going to be there. Yeah, that's right fine. Right now, it's like weight here, it's too heavy weight on in the bathroom, there's like, there's weight like, in the kitchen. Yeah. There's no like... Yeah, the only reason to do it is so there's more weight on this side. Because like, so much weight is on the right side. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't. It's crazy to think that we're building our own home. Scott and I stop ourselves every once in a while and just say to each other, can you believe we're actually doing this? Like most people, I don't think we would have ever thought that we would be making our future home from a school bus. But once we did, we were just captivated by this idea. We love that we get to custom make every detail and that when we're done, we're gonna be able to travel anywhere, stay wherever we want, and our backyard will be everywhere. We can't wait to live in our future home, and we're so grateful for all the people that have been a part of our build. It really has become this beautiful community project that we didn't know was coming. Okay, so they added insulation, they had already ran the wires, and now the beautiful storage that they built is going up. It's go time! Jamie keeps breaking our bed! We did have a bed. I need another one of Oh my gosh. 
do that thing. <laughs> Yeah, you should start training for an Ironman or something and get the right, on that. Lose some weight. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited. Okay, so back end, you've got to go up to get over the wires. Yep. On the right side. Ah! Huh? Uh. Because the two by two is on the back. Yeah, what's wrong with it? It's an inch and a half to there, but we've got to go down more. We've got to take two by twos off. Okay. Making our way. Right, make sure we get it over the, over the wires. Crack it, dude. Guys, it looks good. Holy cow, this is a pretty bedroom. Wow. This completely transforms the space. Beautiful, isn't it, babe? It's like gorgeous. Yeah, that looks neat. <coughs> it looks so beautiful. It looks ballin'. Then we'll face plate down the side. Yeah. Face plate down this side. Yeah. Put your doors on. Yeah. <sighs> Freaking killer, bro. Okay, guys, we have our, what we're calling our bedroom over storage closet. I don't know what we're calling it. <laughs> we have a beautiful piece of our bedroom completely, not completely, but almost completely yeah, finished. Framed out. And it looks unreal. It actually completely makes it look like a bedroom now. I'm saying completely so much because I'm completely freaking out. <laughs> but it really looks absolutely gorgeous. Scott and Jamie crushed it. Um, I don't believe they could have done it without our moral support. That's right. It's true. <laughs> but honestly, it looks beautiful. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to go head over to Custom J's and we're going to start working on the bus. But today's kind of a sad day because this is probably the last day that we'll get to work on the bus together. However, good news is next time we see Kelson J, hopefully the bus will be done. Or if they happen to swing by again next week, you know. <laughs> Try. No, but um, we've just loved having them here. Every second has been absolutely amazing. And so we're going to savor in our last little bus build day for now. And who knows, we really might have the bus done next time we see them. Yep. We'll see. But we got them a little surprise. We got them Bonanza, which is our favorite bean game. So we're going to give that to them and then get to work. A favorite bean game? We have multiple bean <laughs> games. Favorite board game is what she meant to say. <laughs> but it's not even that. Yeah, bean game. Favorite yeah. card game? Yeah. We've liked playing this. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go uh, hang out with those guys for our last day. But yeah, we're sure going to miss those guys been around. And But yeah, I'm sure we'll see them again soon. <laughs> We spent the last few days with our friends working on some more bus projects and we started some work in creating our shower area and some little projects here and there around the space. In the midst of all of this, we also ran all of our electrical wires too and our final project together was putting up some roof insulation and so we had to have one final run to Home Depot as a pack to get some supplies for us to work into the night together. Our time together wouldn't have been complete without some curry from our favorite Indian restaurant in town, Taj Mahal, and then playing Bonanza, our favorite card game, long into the night. Kels, Jay, and Alex have been so generous with their time to help us build our future home, and we just can't thank them enough. But more than the build, we are just so thankful for their friendship. Spending so much time together and basically living with one another, friends quickly become family. And when you think of the high drive, you may think of our bus build, but to us, it's just so much more than that. 
There's a quote that says, it takes hands to build a house, but only hearts can build a home. To us, it's not all about the bus. The reason we got the bus in the first place was to see more places and meet more people while having less along the way. The people that become friends and friends that become family, it's everything. Kels, Jay, Alex, we love you guys and can't wait for more adventures ahead. And to everyone else out there, we look forward to meeting you guys on the road someday too. We'll be back next week.